Hey guys, this is Malekith with uh, episode 2 of my uh, Fall of the Samurai campaign. As you can see, I'm bumping the difficulty up to hard um, in the vain hope that the generals won't decide to charge across the entire line of guns and get themselves killed, forcing the enemy army to run away almost as soon as it starts. Um, it may end up having a bit more of a larger impact on the campaign map and I'll get slaughtered, but I think it will make a better fight video at least, so uh, we'll give that a try. I can always drop it down again if it doesn't resolve it and just gives me bigger issues that make this less fun to watch. So a recap from last time, we've got our navy making use of its bombardment to uh, both attack the town and aid the army when it's fighting. Uh, we're currently sieging, three turns till surrender. Inside they've got no generals because they both as I mentioned earlier, were entirely ridiculous and rode across the front of all of my line infantry and got absolutely hammered. So uh, it's mostly made up of peasants. As uh, one unit of uh, Yari spearmen. In response, my army's got three units of line infantry, unit of cavalry, some levy spears, a Yari spearman, and these matchlock, which I didn't really get to try much. Um, they don't seem to be anywhere near as sort of useful as the the line infantry, but I'm sure they have their uses somewhere. They're probably considerably cheaper to recruit. So anyway, let's continue. I'm just going to leave these guys sieging for now while I um, sort of work out what I want to do. So let's have a look at construction. So we nearly got our next farms done. I'm considering updating the uh, the port because those ships are really useful and I'd probably like some larger ones. If we have a look on the left there, there's some very interesting things going on. There's a torpedo boat, um, all sorts of gunboats and corvettes. So I'm going to uh, go for that one next. So we had a development level increase, which was the very first mission we got set, I believe. So that, I think, allows us to go deeper into the research tree. So, yep, so we've now got this uh, plus 50% wealth bonus for 12 turns. And we have our first decision. Okay, so we've been... A Approached by foreigners claiming to be experts in the field, we can exploit this to our advantage. Should we seek to focus on civil or military development? So if we go with military we get plus 25%, if we go with civil we get plus 25% for those types of technologies. I can't remember which one we're researching. Um, I'm going to go with military and then we'll probably change what I'm actually researching to match. Yeah, so at the moment we're doing civil. So what have we got? So we can do Armstrong guns. The Armstrong guns when they're at home. Uh, okay, they don't show up there. That's nice of them. Let's see if I can find it the long way. Where's it going to be? Siege units, probably. Yes. It's got very long range, explosive shells, shrapnel shot. Uh, it's just a, m a more modern artillery piece. Um, alternatively, revolver cavalry. What's this one? Okay, so it's improved defences in the castle. This is uh, improving the boats. Enables explosive shells from naval fire support. Now that was an interesting one. Maybe I should uh, start going down there. What's this one? So that's all the main infantry, which just links straight off this, but I need to hit my next development level for that. Some carbine cavalry. Some Something I'm particularly interested in. Uh, that just gets down the modern army, but that's a long way off. I think I'll go 
with the most basic one and start shifting down to this part of the boats at least just to make use of that explosive shell so construction complete, farm's done so our income's gone up um, that was it for announcements for that turn anyway so what's that army up to? let's uh, remember to shoot them this time so we've killed a few more and one of our boats has levelled up which is never a bad thing so they've got two turns till they surrender I guess more likely they'll charge out and try to uh, force a battle again Save the cavalry. Ah, I can't afford it, that's why. Okay, never mind. Next turn. Ah, here we go. They're sallying out already. So they've got quite a few damaged units. map are we fighting on? Is it the same as last time? Yes. So I'll probably deploy the same position, making use of this uh, sort of hill area, the hard cover that they can't charge over to allow my shooting units to just completely unrelent to this fire on them. Some interesting background pictures going on here. I don't know what crazy hairstyles these guys are going with. Especially when they stood next to guys that look considerably more modern military in the style. Right. So, same place as last time. I'm trying to decide. I think I'll stretch one entire unit across there, make it as wide as possible just so I can maximize my fire. And maybe just one on each side. And kind of make use of the spearmen right out on the flanks. Actually, I'm going to try and make use of these two together as some sort of flanking force. And the horses can go on the right again. The general. Right, let's go. Prepare to defend, sir! Stand there. That was a spear levy. That wasn't what I wanted at all. I'll make use of these guys as well as a flank. There we go. Run the general into the middle. So they seem to just be pouring over the hill, mob style. Really, I want those guys on that side, and these guys to the left of them. So I might be able to hook in. Let's reorganise these guys. Stretch them across there. So 
So we have 40 seconds till my naval fire can come in. Which is a shame because they're nicely bunched up at the moment. Can't decide what's the more tempting target. I think these guys, but those are nicely lined up. It would just be more impressive to see them go flying everywhere. But I think I'll probably be aiming for these guys. Whether I go for area or focus, though. Focus is obviously more devastating, but I've got to get the accuracy on. Uh, fine, let's go focused. Get a nice zoomed in view here. You can see the chaos. you any time now. Here it comes. Oh! And there's bodies everywhere. And a significant amount of them get up, but there are still plenty just laying around. It seems the majority of their forces have switched to face off against my flanking force, so let's pull them in. Let's swing this flank out. Okay, we've got line infantry about to get charged, which isn't really what I want. Back off. Alright, yeah, the horses force those guys to flee, that's good. Maximize this unit's firepower. Sir, your general is under attack. My general is not under attack. This is the uh, cavalry to mop up the ones that have shattered. bodies everywhere. Oh, or maybe I want to back Your off these infantry seeing as I'm firing into that. This unit needs to stay where it is. Cavalry, you're a lunatic. Now that's what you call close fire support. Look at that, even some of my guys are in there. He's fighting in the middle of the crater. He's, he's just a psycho. That's clearly Japanese Rambo right there. He's even posing for the photo at the end. So, 
We lost 227. They lost everything, so we should take the town off them. Let's have a look at the battle. So one of my units of line infantry lost nothing and killed 432. I would imagine that was the guys up on the hill quite happily just picking people off whenever they felt like it. And uh, the unit next to them was probably these guys. They took a few losses. Sabre cavalry did a good job. Lost 5 and took 330. I imagine most of those were running down that unit that fled. They got a double promotion out of it. But overall, all the units got a positive kills to death ratio, so except the general, who apparently lost 17. I've no idea what he was up to, because he was miles out of the fighting again. So that's the general getting promoted, I think, and we're going to peacefully occupy. So we now gain this bonus as well, which increases the spread of pro-imperial sentiment. My general's ready to develop his skills. Ah, apparently the people back here are upset. And what's this one? Excellent, we just gained 2,000 gold to our treasury from leading citizens to show their support. What's causing the unhappiness? They're not happy with modernization or their tax burden. What do you Can wish he rally populous? Let's see how much that improves things. There we go. So we've got a nice happiness bonus now. What can we do here? We can upgrade the cadet school to a barracks. So what have we got here? It's a farm, that's what I want. I really don't want an inn. So... Then it does bring in some money. I might leave it and just upgrade the town when I can afford it and get my other building I want that way. In terms of increasing boats, we have the gunboat, which is a bit terrible. It's, it looks like it's only got about three guns. Or we have the uh, big wooden corvette. But that should go up when they finish constructing the port, so I'll leave that for now. Clan destroyed, bodies scattered everywhere. Looks almost like the uh, field where I was just artillery barraging. Province captured, of course. Yeah, let's have a look at diplomacy. So we're friendly with the Kakura, which are those two, down on the island to our southwest. And different with the guys to our east unfriendly with the guys up to the north. So this would probably be our next target. First we need to upgrade our general. British merchant banker or a confederate soldier of fortune. <laughs> nice quote of I will fight the damn Yankees wherever they may be found sir we'll take him is this going to be a, a sort of military general as opposed to an occupation one this one defending let's attack what goes that one so I'm going to take him And most of the modern units. Yes, my lord. Leaving the uh, the levies. Your orders, my lord. 
start marching them north. Hopefully boats can come around to support them. Count to the clan. And turn. I would have you listen to my offer. You may find it interesting. Trade agreement. I'm not going to argue with that one. Uh, they are enemies with one of my trade partners, but don't really care. Was an enemy port. I just clicked completely at random. All hands on deck. Waiting for a new course. Steady as we go. So these guys look like they have quite a sizable army in their uh, town. Which reminds me, I was going to upgrade this town. Which leaves me the next no money. So shipyard research. Let's see what can we build now. Military port or a trading port. And we've got a lot larger selection of boats. So those are the two we've maybe seen. Your which orders, that's a Kai 10 class, okay. So we seem to have Gain some smaller versions of the boat we already had available, and then one larger. It's got two more guns on it, and then there's the one above that, which has 26 guns on it, it's considerably larger but also extortionately expensive. It's 3,400 and the one below it's 1,700. So two of these are roughly the same price and you end up with more guns out of doing it that way. So that'll be the route I take. As I want to use them for naval bombardment, really. Which reminds me, I need to get to pick my next research. We were going down the boat tree, weren't we? Minus 10% to wealth generated from farms. So upgrade my barracks. Get some sharpshooters. Let's just have a look at what they are first. Okay, so they seem to be sort of longer range riflemen effectively. But they're very weak in melee. So do I want that or do I want the second ship? I kind of want the second ship. But then what else can I build? Can upgrade to a market or a gambling den. Let's 
go with the market money. Is the uh, going to be the lifeblood eventually? Construction complete on something. The uh, farms. Let's see what can Geisha do in this version. Commit the target to join your cause. Entertain nobles in friendly towns to boost growth. Improve town growth. Which is an interesting concept. And they're exceptionally dangerous to foreign veterans. You can't possibly imagine why. So, let's get some more units this army. So we've got line infantry. So I'm going to want some cavalry. And I'll chuck a couple of units of spearmen. Tosa, which I believe are these guys down here, who seem to have expanded quite massively. Let's see if I can get something diplomatic with them. I'm honored to receive you. It is always a good day when friends come to talk. Okay, trade agreement. Oh. So when's our next ship ready? Ah, I never set one building. Okay. My sword for you, my lord. So these guys still upgrading the town. Yes, next turn. So hopefully I'll get my cannon foundry style building out of this one. I think the Saga clan got destroyed. We now have explosive shells. Okay, I've got a thing to uh, recruit a geisha. Yep, the Saga clan was destroyed, and the Obama clan was destroyed. We're going to have a large town here. Created some cavalry, which I will shove in the army while I remember. Up to your command. Who now owns all this territory? I would imagine it's the Satsuma clan, but we can't see them. We sail for glory. Now, where was those cannons? There we go, cannon range. Three turns. end up hitting winter before I can get in there to fight, I think. Never mind. It just allows me to build up. Ok. 
Okay, what's this? Son of one of my subjects. He wants to prove his worth to the clan. Okay, I can hire a new general. Let's enlist him. What skills has he got? Oh, he's just pretty basic at the moment. Except for having a crazy hat. So we'll send him down there to monitor that town. This guy can level up again. And then they wanted us to recruit, which I can't just yet because I can't afford it. Let's go threaten some borders. Destination reached. Hide these guys in the woods. There's another one of my boats. There we go, we created the geisha. What do you wish of me? I'll send her up there at some point. Here comes winter. I'm going to cut that episode there, guys. That's uh, 30 minutes. So, not too much happened this episode, unfortunately, but uh, we're setting up for a, a nice attack in the next one. Especially as he seems to have abandoned the town, so I may be able to just storm straight in there and take it. <laughs>